Hi. I'm live. <laughs> oh Lord, we're here at the Camille, Camille Olivia, Olivia Hanks Cosby Building on the campus of Spelman College here in the ATL, A Town, Atlanta. And I'm here with uh, uh, my family members, uh, all of us who are in some form or fashion attended Spelman College. Uh, and we just finished doing a wonderful recording that you will hear more about <laughs> in the days to come. But uh, I'm sitting, sitting next to my uh, father's sister, um, Christine King Ferris, Dr. Christine King Ferris, who taught for how long here at Spelman? How many years? Mm -hmm. 56. 56. Okay. 56, 56 years. years. Wow. Ever. So all of us seated here attended Spelman when she was teaching here. So I graduated in 1985. Then my cousin, Dr. Angela Ferris Watkins, who's a current, uh, you're a full associate, associate professor but and chair of the psychology department. And by the way, I was a psychology major before Angela even thought about psychology. I'm so glad. <laughs> now she's the expert, <laughs> right? <laughs> Which I was so nice. uh, yes. But she's the chair of the department here at Spelman. Uh, and then a future Spelmanite, Marilyn. Do the Spelman symbol. Mary Ripley. Do the Spelman Mary Ripley symbol, Mary. is the daughter of Jennifer Ripley, Hi. who's my cousin. Uh, yeah. She's my cousin by way of Jennifer. my father's Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Fields. Fields. Jennifer Fields. 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 Let's say that. Fields. I'm sorry, Jennifer, Jennifer Fields. 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 That's a tongue twister for you. Yes. Or you can just say Jennifer Fields. How about that? Or Jen. Or Jen. But anyway, Angela graduated in '86. I won't tell you, Aunt Christine. Twenty-seven. Uh, Jennifer graduated in uh, 2007. 2007. Correct. And she is the granddaughter of my father's brother, A.D. Williams, Williams King. King. And then They're known as A.D. Yeah. Uncle A.D. Yes. And then we have on the end, Alveda King. And I attended and in 1969. Attended in 1969, briefly. Now, the interesting thing is, we're both on the end, Alvita on the left end, I'm on the right end. I tried not to come to Spelman and ended up at Spelman. It was she came to Spelman and ran away from Spelman. That, exactly <laughs> that was a mess. That's right. A mess. Okay. I tried to tell Bernice the whole time, go to Spelman. She wanted to go all the way to Iowa. Iowa. Yes, in the Midwest. What? I needed the experience. When Spellman was right here. So you know what she did? She went and she came back. Mm -hmm. And who did she call and to bring her back? And then she went again to, to American, University. American University in okay. D.C. And who had to fly and drive back with her 10 hours <laughs> in the storm and the rain? I did. <laughs> Why? Because she needed to be at Spellman the whole time. <laughs> And then when she finally arrived at Spelman, she took over, okay? Vice president of the student government, boyfriends, all of that, okay? But who wants to? She didn't want to listen, but she finally got it. Right. So we were here together, and we had the best time. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we are celebrating those times this weekend during the That's homecoming. That's right. Mm -hmm. Jim, are you coming to homecoming? This will be my first homecoming, and I'm going to come with y'all. That's great. What? But we'll be happy to you have you. You better put on your walking shoes for real. Walking oh, shoes. Because Angela's going to have us walking and stopping, walking and stopping. All By the, the way time around. we get to the game, it will be oh, fourth God. quarter. <laughs> <laughs> So listen, as we wrap this but up. a good time will be had by all. As we so wrap we this up. We, as we wrap this up, we were here talking about the HBCU experience. Exactly. So what would you like to say to as young women who are aspiring to attend HBCUs? Okay. Do it. Do Two it. words. Do it. Do it. 
And if you can, come to Spelman. It's number one. And my Spelman is the best place for a young black female today. Okay? The best place because there is so such a wealth of wisdom here, of experience, opportunities, uh, wonderful professors, great people convened here. It's a very beautiful Students campus. Students and the academicians campus pretty, alike. Beautiful campus. campus. We're right next to Morehouse and Clark Atlanta University, Morehouse School of Medicine, the Inter- Denominational Theological, Theological Center. The West End experience. Yes. Yeah. Um, minutes from downtown. I mean, but but really, we're living testimonies that Spelman is a great place. We appreciated our experience uh, at Spelman. We still do, and we're still talking about it. And request MacAlphin. MacAlphin. So Mac as we Alpin. wrap up. MacAlphin was a great I lived in Manly. Manly's the best. No, MacAlphin Mac is where Mac I Alpin. lived when I was on campus. And to where I live. And Ferris. Now that was a great was Ferris is in MacAlphin. She's not here. She had to go. Why? Because it's homecoming. And she had to get to the Miss Maroon and White Carnation. Oh, yeah. Because she was those. here earlier. And yes, she's in MacAlphin and loving it. Yeah, but they can't live in McAlpin your freshman year. So freshman year, go to Manly. So listen, okay. one question for the next generation who thinks that they can do without college. What would you say to someone who may see this? Why should they go to college? Starting over here, and then everybody. Start with Aunt Christine. Well, since she's the oldest, she and yet. she's what been here. It? Why do people need to go to college? In this For someone time? who's contemplating whether or not they should go to college, thinking that high school was enough, mm -hmm. what words of encouragement would you give to a young person that may see this as to why they should go to college? So that you will have the experiences of um, college life and meeting so many different uh, people. Okay. And learning so learning. much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, now it's really hard to get a good job. Even college graduates are struggling to get um, good jobs uh, because of, you know, uh, the way things are. So you certainly are at a disadvantage if you don't have a college degree. Uh, but but the whole world opens up to you when you do get a college degree. There's just so much more to explore, um, to gain uh, intellectually, socially, even athletically, uh, spiritually. There's so much more. So do yourself the great favor and go to college. And HBCU is a great place. And Spelman is the best place for an African American woman. And America is still the land of opportunity, and there are children and young people all over the world who would want to go to college and do not have the opportunities that still exist here. So since you're living in a nation where you can still attend college and get all of the experiences that have just been discussed, it would be really great for you to consider a college education. And here's a final shout out to those that um, matriculated on these grounds well before we did. And that is to Jenny, Mrs. First Lady of Ebenezer, Jenny Williams, and that is to First Lady of Ebenezer, Alberta Williams King, and then certainly sitting here to Dr. Christine King Ferris and the rest of us who have followed suit. Shout out to you all for leading the way. To God be the glory. Great, Great things done. So, Jen, yes. I want you to wrap it up and then I'll get to you. To because all you're the young youngest. people yeah. who are contemplating whether or not to go to Spelman, well, not just specifically Spelman, but college, 
Go for it. It's fun. College grows you up. Now, granted, you could get a job, maybe not a good one without college, or maybe you're an entrepreneur or an inventor and you think, why do I need to bother? College is a place where all the brightest minds converge. And on top That's of that, good, it's fun. Yeah. Like you, There's no other point or period in your life where you can just party and not get judged. And I say that as an adult, and I'm a school teacher now, and so I can't go back in time, and I'm, I'm glad I am where I am today, but that period of freedom that college gives you, you can't, you can't do anything like it anywhere else. College is really the only place where you can just be free to make mistakes and grow up without judgment. So at I the suggest same time. That's at good. the same at time. At the same time. So I say whether or not you're born rich and never need a job in your life, maybe you have some witty invention and you would never need to work. I would still say go to college. It grows you up. Go. That's good. Go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um I would say number one that uh College has a way of disciplining you. It helps to develop that part of your life. And uh, more importantly, um, it really uh, helps to focus you and teach you the importance of setting goals and achieving goals. Because college is one experience of completing one course after another course after another course after another course um, and you prove to yourself that you can accomplish goals in life and so it gives you that kind of uh, discipline so please do yourself a favor don't miss this phase of your life and opportunity uh, because it's much more difficult to go back than it is to continue and I'm speaking of someone who actually finished high school and then went to college and then went on to work on two degrees at the same time uh, in law and theology. And uh, I'm, I thank God for all of those experiences because it, it gave me uh, the kind of discipline that I need uh, to focus and to uh, accomplish goals. So the last thing I want you all to say, vote. This is a very critical time. Holy oh, important. <laughs> Go to college, number one. Number two, vote. Please vote. Goes yes. Even if you think your vote doesn't count. Yes. Like your life mm -hmm. depends on it. Yes. People, vote. people marched for you to vote, and people have people fought have for you to have the opportunity. Lives. So yes. please yes. vote. Yes. And, and let me just say, this has more to do than with the presidential election. Yeah, and other that's right. That's right. That's right. And uh, and and yet it does. You, you know, we have to think about who a president is. Yeah. Um, presidents do appoint Supreme Court justices. Um, yes. Congress uh, is responsible for passing our laws, and many of them are running now, congresspersons and senators. Yes. So yeah. we can't forget that. And then some of us are in states where the very um, uh, life of our public school systems are. Uh, on the line yeah, because we have something on the that's ballot true. that that's is uh, potentially uh, dangerous where the, the state uh, can, through the governor, can singularly overtake uh, the school. So please go vote. Just and vote. Inform please yourself vote. Your vote on what's counts. on that ballot and uh, go in there. If you don't care about voting for the president, that's fine. Yeah. Just go in and vote on everything yeah, else issues. because, yeah. as Vita said, People uh, bled and died for yeah. their right and privilege. Yeah. And everything that happens in our life is affected by policy, Absolutely. whether we like it or not. So don't leave yourself out. Feel a part of the system and be a part of the system. And go and vote on whatever day you choose, early voting. <laughs> but you can't vote later than November 8th. And pray and then go day. vote. Pray and vote. <laughs> pray so, and read. read and vote. All right, so I'm getting ready to end, so I want all of you to say vote. Take God with you. Vote. Take God with you. Vote. 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 And ladies, if you never vote. heard me say this before, I feel so blessed to be a part of your blood, to be a part of your um, kinship, lineage, kinship, lineage, kinship all of that. And I am so glad also that we all went to Spelman. Yes! Yay.